Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go through the square root of 8. 8 is not a perfect square, so I'm going to do three things. One, I'm going to show you how to simplify it. Two, I'm going to show you how to estimate pretty easily what the square root of 8 is. And then I'll show you what the value is, that, uh, which is an irrational number. So the first thing I'm going to do is complete a factor tree. 2 times 4, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then 2 times 2. And so now I am down to prime numbers. So I can rewrite these. You don't really have to do this, but I'm just showing you under the uh, square root sign that uh, how to do this. So I'm going to write all three twos. And you know that since it is a square root, you can pull out pairs. So I can pull out one pair. And I'm going to rewrite this over here. So I have two, but I still have one under the sign. And so simplified it is. 2 square root 2. Now, here's a simple way to estimate uh, finding the square root. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay, so we have, we have 8, and I know the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. So it's going to be somewhere between these two numbers. Since it's closer to 9, uh, I could estimate maybe... 2.7 or maybe 2.8 and remember that is just estimating and then if you want to write the value I'm going to move it all the way up here because I'm running out of room uh, the value is I'm not going to go because it is an irrational number so it never ends and so if you put this in the calculator uh, and you know that it since it is an irrational number it's just going to go forever so let me summarize real fast. Simplified, it is 2 square root 2. Estimating, because you have 4 and 9 on both sides, 2 and 3, so I'm going to estimate 2.7 or 2.8. And then the value right here is 2.828427 forever and forever. Hope that helps. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.